How, how did it first start, Casey, at your old school then? How old would you have been? You're, what, 13 now? Yeah. So how old were you when, when the bullying started? I was 12 when it started, and, um, but when I started it, it was like, it was because of the way my teeth are and that, because... And what way are perfect. your teeth, love? Because I can't see anything wrong with them. No. So, right, So okay. why, why were they picking on you about your teeth? What were they saying to you? They were saying that I've got rabbit teeth and bunny teeth and... Mm. And this was boys and girls? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and how was that making you feel at the time? It hurt, like, cos, like, I didn't like the way they were saying it and that. Mm. And I got, like, really upset. Mm. And was it just name-calling at that point? Yeah. Um, who did you tell? I told m most of the teachers, but they didn't really do anything about it. And what about your mum? Did you, did you go home and tell mum and dad? Yeah. How did you feel at that? Because the, the most awful thing as for a parent is thinking your child is unhappy at school. Um, that must have hurt you to hear that. Yeah, it did. It was a case of trying to go into the school and rectify things, get things sorted, but it just didn't seem like the school wanted to bother with it. They just wanted to brush it under the carpet. It was mm. like, you know, get her back into school, because she did have, like, a couple of days off when it was happening mm. and things, and it was a case of, like, just get it... They were just, like, mm. brush it under the carpet, forget about it, get her back into school. And what did you think about that decision? I wasn't happy about it. They were mostly isolating the children that were picking on her. They'd mm -hmm. put them into isolation and things like that. Um, what was the, the most frightening thing that happened to you with this bullying? Because it got very bad. I mean, it was name-calling to start with, but it became quite physical, didn't it? Tell us the things that happened to you. Well, when I was walking home one day, like, I got pushed to the ground and that, and I got told that I was covered... Well, my eyes were covered in that, and this kid um, decided to call another kid and tell them to bring the knife. But I don't know whether they had a knife on them or not, cos, obviously, I was covered. But, um, and that's what made me, like, really scared about it. I bet it did. How was this affecting you? What kind of girl would you say you were before this started? And, and how did it affect you and your personality and how you were living your life? Uh, I was, like, a wonderful girl and, and I treated everyone the way they wanted to be treated. But then, um, when it started, like, I did get really annoyed and that, and I was, like, when I was speaking to people, I kind of made them upset a bit because I was angry and I didn't have to deal with it. Did you have any friends who supported you? Did you have any people in your class, your group, that you could say, look, why are they doing this to me? Did anybody stick up for you? Yeah, in my new school, there is quite a lot of people that actually do stick up for me. Which, that must help. Yeah. Jo, there's, there's a danger here. I have to say, I want to go over, I want to put my arm around her, I want to give her a hug, but at the same time, I would say, isn't there a danger? when you draw attention to this. If you appear on a TV programme, and I know why you're coming on, I know you don't want this in other families, isn't there a danger, though, that you draw more attention to it? Uh, no, there, there's no sort of magic wand, is there, just, no. just to solve everything? I mean, yeah, there is a danger of drawing more attention, but since she went back to school yesterday, a lot of the older children in her school mm. are now saying, we want to deal with it. The older children want to yeah. deal with it because it's their school. Yes. It's the reputation so of their school. So you hope they'll be looking out. So I'm for hoping her. the older children now will help yeah. her because I mean I know a couple of the children in Year Eleven. Yeah. Um, they I've got like their mothers are their more yeah. friends, and they've turned around and says, "Why is this going on?" You do need safety in numbers, don't you? You need everybody yeah. to be standing up to this because, as we all know, bullies are always in a minority. Yeah. But it, when it's happening to you, it doesn't feel like that. How bad did it get, Joe? How what changes did you see in your lovely daughter? She, she went quiet. Um, she wouldn't go out. It was one stage where she was going to this uh, place, Action for Bullying. She went there for this a couple... This is a charity? Yeah, this is a charity, a one-on charity. They were going... She was going there for a couple of months, then the bullying got that bad, she stopped. She didn't want to go out the house. And then when she went to the second school, it was a case of... Mm. I says, look, go back, they're going to help you. Mm. They'll be there to help you. So mm. she did go there and she's sort of like... It's sort of help to and boost the confidence. You know, the best advice I could give you, I could give you lots of advice, most of it's not broadcastable, it has to be <laughs> said, but um, the advice I'd give you is ignore them. They'll be on social media and things. What they feed off is your reaction, right? So whatever, there's no point, just just ignore them. You you will get through this and, you know, the, more, the less you think about it, the more of a victory it is for you. But the big thing for me would be, if this was happening to me, I would worry about telling my parents. So you either do that straight away or you wait a while. Do you remember the day where you felt this was too much and you had to tell mum and dad about this? What, what did you do? 
um, like, like I had to I had to go tell them because eventually they would have found out some way or another. So I did go and tell them and it kind of made them upset as well as it made me upset and that. Is that why you didn't want to tell them straight away? Yeah. yeah. You hear that so often from children and all mm -hmm. we want as parents is for you to tell us. If there are any of those bullies watching or they get to watch this or they get to hear about this, what would you say to them? Like, to be fair, all I want is to, all to stop. Get off her back, basically, that's what we're saying today. Um, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a social worker. Dude, now you see, that says yeah. everything you need yeah. to know about you. You're a good girl and good things happen to good people, so um, good luck with that. Well, I do and hope it stops you because the school have said, you know, they're going to be looking out for you now and you said the other mums with mm -hmm. the older children, so hopefully yeah. this will have helped.